Hello guys, this is AFCOR and this is a late progress report. The reason why I was so late because I was busy doing that stupid uh, Magic Tower Conquest. I'll post some videos later. I think I did too much Magic Tower Conquest. I'll show that later when I come when I cover the PB side of my um, um, progress. Yeah, I did too much uh, <laughs> Magic Tower Conquest. When you look at the battles, you'll see that it was a lot. But anyway, let's go to my enchantments. As far as enchantments have gone, it's it's, it's been all right. Like Yulia has benefited mightily from enchantments. Like you look at her right now, this is a problem for me. The skill is not where I want it to be. Uh, this is getting there. She's missing one point of int. Which I'm really proud of. She's missing uh, one point of defense, I think. Yeah, I think one point of defense. Yeah, she's missing one point of defense. That's why I need some surge stones, because this is crazy. Yeah, I, I want to, I want to get this maxed out, because I think she's going to be a really strong PVP um, unit, and I'm satisfied with that. I don't like the fact that I'm using her to an extent, because I really like Empire, but she's really strong in this season and next season, so this is why I'm using her. But as far as uh, her enchants go on her weapons, this is a pretty good roll. Like, I got 11 int, 7 HP, 4 defense. Pretty good. Pretty good. I wish I had more um, int, but with these uh, enchants, there's such a roll of the die that when you see one like this, you keep it and then you wait to see if you get something better. And I didn't get anything better, so I'm satisfied with that. I'm satisfied with this. Um, I like the 10 HP, the 10 defense, and the 3 int. That's a real good roll. I'm somewhat satisfied with this because I got like 19%, which I can do better, but so far so good. And I'm satisfied with this role for now. It's not really good for PvP. Because uh, you want like... You want across the board. You want this percent. This percent. You want it across the board. But that's fine. Um, I've been... I need more... Uh, <laughs> enchant scrolls. Enchants seem to be a chokehold for me now. But Yulia is coming along really nice. Um, I, like the, I like her playstyle honestly. She's just like Elwyn. And I had older videos when I discussed this that her and Elwyn are similar in how they function like my Elwyn right here is like when attacking he increases the damage dealt and he restores HP equal to hero damage dealt but Yulia is like an advanced version of that because when her HP is at or above 80% your damage dealt is increased and you're unable to be killed by um, deadly damage and you restore your HP equal to the damage dealt and when she gets to higher stars it will be a hundred percent chance so that's really good um, I understand Yulia to an extent because I've already played Elwyn but the only thing I don't get is how should I approach her approach using her in PvP? I need more experience with that. I can't personally determine how to use her yet since I haven't really had much experience. I, I understand with Elwyn, you know, you gotta kind of wait and then you have to seize the moment. With her, I, I'm, I'm still still not quite sure how to approach that. But it's fine. Um, Lanius's enchants got a little better. He's getting close to where his uh, horse self was. Um, I'm missing two points here, so that's so once I um, searched on that, his attack will be perfect. Um, his defense, I rolled three like um, SSR um, stones and still got nothing, so that's that that disappointed me. I got a little more HP here, but that disappointed me. I was really upset with that, but whatever. Let me see. See, I wanna. I'm kind of on the fence about that. I'm going to probably keep that since I got so high. But I want some magic defense here. I want attack, defense. But you can't have everything. I need skill. I need HP. I need defense. So it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Um, 
it's hard with some of these units who want pretty much they want all the smoke they want everything like Lanius can use every status set except in he wants all the freaking smoke his ranking is like 58 he's dropped ever since I switched him over to Lancer because of my um, enchants like I have more attack here and 3 defense um, this got a little better this pretty much stayed the same this has stayed the same I tried to roll better rolls but it, no such luck <laughs> no such luck um, this guy is uh, the same he stayed the same I tried to roll better rolls for him and didn't get nothing I didn't get squat on him my Bernie is actually a little stronger because of his soldiers um, because of my training field his power has gone up slightly and when I um give him all the stuff that I usually give him and yeah there he goes yeah this is where he's at um his soldiers give him more power now that I that maxed out that training field so he's at four now even though he's more offensive than he was uh in his previous incarnation now that he has um, apex boots his soldiers are carrying him right now they're carrying his power yeah, he hits 900 attack now we're trying to get that to at least a thousand I think I can do that but I'm gonna have to sacrifice some of his bulk to do that and that's what upsets me the most because I got these great rolls and I'm gonna have to sacrifice some of his bulk to get his attack up but it can happen he can hit he can hit um a thousand easy because uh, I'm close to it I'm I'm like at uh, 918 I'm hitting 918 right now and he's missing three points off his uh, class and chance so uh, uh, where's 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 where am I missing it at uh, not there um, there there goes the three points I'm missing so if I search that I can I can get I can get to um, a thousand that's what I want I want a thousand attack with Bernie so we're trying to go for that because I like Bernhardt so we're trying to go for that Jugler has stayed the same he, nothing has changed nothing has changed on Jugler I mean yes some things have changed I had to I take that back I got his skill up got his HP up so he's close to being maxed out I, I still haven't got a good roll on HP so for some reason it eludes me this uh this roll eludes me it's fine it's fine uh <laughs> but his power is still low because of his uh he lost uh his blood pack and i don't have high hp rolls on this so i have no hp here and i only had 10 percent hp there and i have no hp so i'm gonna have to roll some hp rolls all right let me see where are we at now yeah I got some better rolls on her her, her power went up because I got a 10% on that and a 6% HP yeah this roll is terrible I, I kept trying to roll but I failed so it is what it is this roll got better and this roll got better but her enchants are garbage because I don't use her in PvP anymore so I didn't even bother even even with this I got to gold one so she took me to gold one with the with these crappy enchant so tears is is good but I don't use her anymore licorice I haven't done nothing with I haven't done nothing with her either um, I've done a little bit with her but uh, I can't really like waste too much resources on her anymore since I'm trying to um, build my um, PvP team but I have been wasting resources on my Emmerich yeah I have been I've been doodling around with the Emmerich um yeah I, I think I did more work on his clashing chance because they were like utter garbage so I maxed out his attack um one but I haven't done any arena but his power is is pretty high amongst the emmerichs like I'm at like five again uh cause Ziff Ziff um jumped me for some reason he um improved his uh stats so he jumped me uh these guys were always at the top and this noobs guy, um, he jumped me too. <laughs> so I'm I'm back at number five. I got ahead of Juker Law. 
Yeah, but he he builds his Emrick so so defensively, um, and keeps. He's still uh, one of the top dogs, even though he doesn't play anymore with his uh, Emrick. All right, so let me see who's. Uh, oh, yeah. Last thing. Um, finally, we got Florentia to five stars. So we're gonna upgrade her right now. Uh, Florentia has been overperforming, to say the least. <laughs> she has overperformed. She, even at four stars, I was getting like all my um, content clear. So she's like overperformed. She's like one of the best healers in the game. Um, I, I still don't think she's um, as a uh, clutch as Wyler. Um, Wilder's a clutch character. He's a clutch healer. I don't think she is as consistent in PvE as Tiaris and um, and Liana. But I mean, they're really well constructed, and she's well constructed too. But um, Liana has an unfettered act again, and I mean, and she heals passively so it's, it's hard to compete with that um, it's really hard to compete with that it's hard to compete with Tierra too I think she's like and in, in PvP I think Wyler's a little better because high stakes the 3C high stakes is really good so it's, it's hard for her to compete against those guys I mean I think she's up there but I don't think she's as high as people would like to place her. And that's fine. But for Empire, she's like the best healer for Empire. But yeah. And I'm ranked 23, so I use her a lot. But I hate to say that. But if but some people may have a different opinion. But for me, that's how I feel about Florentia. I think she's a super strong um, healer. But she's kind of like borderline she's really good in pve content she's really good in pvp content but she's not the best in either one so and i'm fine with that because i would like to use her in pve and pvp at the same time so i'm not offended by it but i in my opinion that's how i feel about her some people may have a different opinion on her and her performance but she's incredibly good um her enchants aren't even that great i mean when you look at it they're not even that great i mean my Equip enchants are slightly better. I got a 13% roll on this one, and I got a 12% HP roll on that. I got a yeah. So her enchants are getting slightly better. Uh, I know I can do better, but just enchant scrolls as is is kind of tough to get. So this guy here, I got. I'm gonna do a video on Matthew and why this guy is so good in PP content. I hate to say it, but I. I rely on him to clear some high-end content and you have to recognize when the developers make a character and he's so good that you pull him out of the closet in order to win so much respect to how they design Matthew I think he's better than people give him credit for because we a lot of youtubers keep using him they throw him aside and then they use him when something tough tough comes around so I think he needs more respect and my um she's gotten stronger because I've been improving her enchants. This one I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm I've been I've been I've been trying, man. Seriously. I've been seriously trying. But um it is what it is. I have to give her a I have to give her a meditation ring because if I'm gonna use her in this form, it's better that she has resisted versus fixed damage. So moving along to um, um, shard farming, I'm pretty much only doing like three characters. I'm still doing Yulia because uh, Yulia is a, a decent input, high output character. You put something into her and you get a lot out of her. So I'm doing my um, my three gates of fate for her. And we come down here. And I'm still doing Gates of Fate for her. Tomorrow we'll see once we get Rosenseal and Clotaire how that goes. But I think I'm still going to farm her out. Because I've learned my lesson about farming shards. You really need to finish your characters. 
it takes a lot of stress and pressure off of you if you're playing this game at uh, late game level so it's better just to finish them off and instead of picking a new character but sometimes you know you play the game you want to have fun and you find a character that is really fun to play like I've been doing a little experimentation I think this guy's kind of fun to play that's why I'm doing his shards um, I'll do a video on him too but those that's my um, shard farming as far as it goes I, I think this dude is really fun to play I know that he's like not the type of guy you dumb down the game and you just attack and attack and you win but he, he's pretty fun to play because he just plays differently from a lot of different characters nobody really plays like Sigma like a lot of people play like Elwin a lot of people play like uh, Landius to an extent people are trying to the developers are making characters more like Landius even Vargas has a little bit of Landius on him so it's it's, it's different to play a character differently like even uh, even her she has a distant counter that made Landis so famous so this guy he's still um, unique so is Weiler Weiler's unique I wish I would have built him I regret not building Weiler like I regret I regret not building Weiler I regret I deeply regret not building her sooner I deeply regret this like I had no regrets about Jugler, I had no regrets about Leon, I have no regrets about these guys. I regret not building her sooner to six stars, but I have her at six stars now. But yeah, I have no regrets about these guys. I have regrets about her building her to six stars. This is a regret of mine because she's no longer viable in PvP whatsoever. So, and then since I'm an Empire player, I really don't use her. So I really regret building her. So this, she's one of the people I regret building to six stars. Um, as far as PvE content goes, uh, like I was telling you, I did a lot of Magic Tower conquests, and this is where I topped out at. I topped out at 114. I feel bad about that since I played like uh, 57 games. I played 57 games with a win rate of 52%, so I won half the fights. Basically, basically won half the fights. But I was just trying to get the um, get the mission clear, so I think I played too much. I, I would have made a lot more videos this week, but I was so busy playing this because I wanted to get all the um, achievements, and I did. I got I got this arena surge stone, which which really you really want to get. It, I know that I'm not really that good at it. I'm not really good at Magic Tower Conquest. Well, I wasn't good at Magic Tower Conquest. I take that back. I wasn't good at Magic Tower Conquest at first, but I kept playing until I got good, so to speak. So, I mean, I really wasn't good at it, but then I got good at it, and I understood how to play it. You, you have, like, people can make strategy guides on content like this. They can say, you got to do this. These characters are the best, but... At a certain point, you have to like disregard what they're saying. You you listen to what they're saying, but you got to understand the way you play, how you perceive the game, and how you approach the game. And I play like kind of safe. Like if I show you real quick, um, in team formation, like no no tactical skills. These are the tactical skills that I use. I think I got a lot better once I start tapping into rescue. And I used to use uh, what's it, this Supreme, and that, and really, that wasn't the one that worked for me. Um, Slaughter didn't work for me. This didn't work for me really. I, this set worked for me. It got me to fifteen thousand. And if you were playing a more um, offensive game, you would have you would use this, this, and uh, this, and you would focus on blowing away the main tower you use this two times on the main tower you use this one one char character and you use blank to blow the tower away if you're playing more defensive if you want to stall and slowly chip away guys you use this one you use this one and you would use this one so basically you hear your characters basically you stun their characters and you slow them down but for me this was a little bit of balance of both worlds 
and like I said, it got me to um, it got me to 1,500 points. So I got everything that I needed. Like I said, I always say this: you can look at guys, but until you play the way you know how to play, the way that your mind perceives the game, you'll never get good. You can listen to guys, but until you play it the way your mind perceives it, you will never be good. And I learned that lesson the hard way because this was a good lesson for me to play this. I kept playing until I, till I started chipping away at stuff until I figured out how I play things, how I like to approach things, how I like to do things. I'll show you the videos in which I, uh, and you'll see you how I play so keeping keeping it on keep going keeping it going oh uh, yeah let's go back to villainous will uh, like I said I did everything on villainous will I just I just don't like this costume I would have got it but I don't like it I don't like it I said I liked it at first but then I like, looked at it and I said I don't like it I don't like it for irons I, I just don't like it so I didn't get it I got everything else but I didn't get that and it's over after the day it's over so whatever and as far as um main storyline stuff goes i still haven't done any of this stuff yet i will i'll start doing videos of that not probably not tomorrow because i gotta do timeless trial but yeah i still got all that stuff to do i'm not in a rush to do it and uh yeah i'm not in a rush to do it yeah i'm not in a rush to do it i'll do timeless trials I'll see what the new content holds tomorrow and we'll we'll plan accordingly. So that is that's for a PvE content. And we'll finish up with the training field. I, I hate to say it, but I didn't get as much done as I wanted. I maxed this out. This is maxed out. And this is maxed out. But I didn't really get as much done as I wanted. This eluded me. Yeah, this eluded me. These shorts eluded me. So tomorrow I'll probably have enough uh, resource in order to get the shorts in order to max this out. Let's take this to 70%. Because after that I have to um, build this troop. I have to build Tree Ant Guardian for um, for um, my Landius. That's just the way things go. I have to build him for Landius. And as far as this troop, this is the other troop I, I kind of want to build really cuz um I want this for my um let me just show you I want this for not her not <laughs> I can't believe these characters use them but uh I want this for uh my uh Zerida and uh Hie and also for where is in Sigma when I use Sigma in uh um against Hugin Immunity he needs a uh, archer on archer troops and dark elf sniper is pretty good so well not it's a it's an archer troop that I can use it's not like good against Hugin and Immunum because they'll never be at a hundred percent HP but he just needs an archer troop to get the extra damage so and I need to actually build jungle ranger which I have the resources to do I have the resources to max out jungle ranger so I might I might max that out I might max out jungle ranger but it, I'm not in a rush to do that since he's not ready for um, Hugin Immunin I want to get I want to get in the five stars before I take him to Hugin Immunin I want him at at least five stars so that's the way that goes um, as far as uh, the training fields are concerned I'll talk about that later because I think that people like they say they're saving their resources for um, the new training fields and I don't think you really need to worry about that right now that's for like high 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 end content you really don't need it right now and if you're just starting out or you're in mid game you really don't need to worry about it maybe like build some of the new troops because they're like really OP but as far as the um, new um, training nodes they're so um, specific like like say for instance like I'm definitely probably gonna build the two out of the holy and demon like cuz holy and demon contain like wizards they contain like 
demons and they and they contain holy like the new holy troop that comes out for letting yeah you would probably want to build that since I'm maxed out on holy and demon and and wizard then yeah that may be something I would like to build but most people don't have this and it took me a while to even get here so if you're not at 70 70 70 70 it's, it's not really a big deal because that's you really want to you crawl, you crawl before you walk, so you really don't need to worry about it. Because the holy is good. Um, the demon is not so valuable, since the only really valuable demon troop right now in PvP is is the um, Hellfire Archer. I mean, so you really wouldn't bother even building that. It'd probably be more if you use assassin troops. It'd be better just to build the assassin, the assassin um, branch. You wouldn't build archer because what do you? People don't really use archer in PvP that much. So you you see some people do, but not much. Like aquatic would be important because a juggler juggler is always important. You want lobster behemoths as strong as possible, and you want cavalry. Because you want calves as strong as possible for offense and defense, and if you're at that level, you probably want Lancer too. So that's that's my opinion on it. Some people may have a different opinion on that, but in my opinion, you gotta crawl before you walk. So why would you even like stress over these new nodes? Because we got these new nodes like a uh, uh, like a year ago, we still haven't built those up. So that's my opinion on it. I mean, seriously. And they're probably, if this game lasts like another year, they're going to probably build more nodes. So, it is what it is. But if you like my content, the like, share, subscribe button. I'll get back to you. I'll start making videos. I shouldn't have played that much Magic Tower Conquest. I, I was kind of burnt out on it. But, hey, I wanted to get all the uh, rewards. And um, I, I hit pretty high. 114 is pretty good. I'm proud of myself for that. I thank God for that. You know, because put some time into it you should get something out of it but anyway guys you have a great night be blessed be safe good day